In this video tutorial, I'll introduce you to Live Binders. You can find Live Binders at www.livebinders.com. Live Binders is an online tool you can use similar to a three ring binder. You can use it to collect digital resources, organize them neatly, share, and share them with your students. You might simply use other Live Binders or create one for yourself. So let's take a look. First of all, you do want to sign up and create an account. So I've done that, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. Once you log in, notice the tabs at the top. You'll want to select My Shelves, and you can see the different ones that you might have on your shelf. Now, if you, you're ready to create a brand new binder, you would select Create Binder, and then you start typing in the information for your binder. So let's say, for example, I go in here, type in some keywords or tags by which people might search. And then notice right here it says category. In most cases you'll want to choose education. And then at first you may want to keep this private until you've finished editing it and then you can go back and change it to public. So I'll keep mine private for now. And then if you want to keep it private always you can type in an access key that you can give out to your students. Now I've added that information so I click create new binder and now it's going to open up my online three ring binder. So you can see at the very top you have various tabs and I can go in and let's say I'm going to make this my introduction to the project and I can click on this tab and I can start listing uh, my subtitles or titles and you can see uh, the various things there, uh, the tabs I can create. Now if you need to create more tabs and other details, you go up here to the top right corner and select Edit Menu. And notice it brings up the menu down here at the bottom and the details we typed in earlier you can edit here. This is also where you can change it to public if you like and give it a name or your uh, author name. Maybe you like a different color. You can change that here. Notice the color is going to change when I click update. You can see it turns green. And then notice the tabs or the links here at the top. We're going to look at these briefly. First of all I can select upload file where I can browse to a file and I can double click it. And then I can upload either on this page or a new tab or, or a sub tab. So I'm just going to keep it in this tab and click upload and after a few seconds it's going to load that file. So this is my little handout on live binders as you can see and it's going to post it right here. This is a PDF. Uh, if I were to go over here to Cole and click in here and I could type in uh, a web address. Uh, for example, I'm going to go ahead and find uh, a resource for Cole. Maybe you use Wikipedia, for example, and you want uh, this particular uh, resource to be in there, and you would simply copy and paste that URL and insert. Sometimes you might need to wait a few seconds to get that in place so uh, a child can learn about coal and what, what's the purpose of coal. Now, down here at the bottom, maybe you need more tabs, so I can select on tabs. And he says add a tab. And you can see the tabs there and add another tab. Uh, if they're out of order you can always move them to the right or left. So I'm going to click on this for example and move that over so I have those in order. And then again type in uh, whatever you need to type in on these tabs by selecting them. 
Notice it did auto save for me, so that's a nice feature, but you can always select save up here at the top as needed. Now, if you need tabs within these sections, you can always select those as well, um, and you can also delete them here. Now, moving on, um, I'm going to go ahead and save my work and close my menu. And let's click over here and just kind of see what I have so far. So the introduction, you might have a Word document or PDF that you've uploaded with instructions for students. And then they may have a tab going to different things such as a website, for example. Uh, solar, you might add a video here. Uh, the easiest thing is to add a web address. So this is kind of a way to bookmark web addresses. But you can always go to Edit Menu and use some of these other tools like Insert Media and let's say I want to type in solar energy and look for pictures on Flickr and you might have a good little picture so let's say right here I want to select that on solar energy to talk about that and then uh, notice there's other ways uh, we don't use YouTube in our district but you might use delicious or if you have pictures from any of these other tabs you can choose all my tabs the next item is text layout. This allows you to, to figure out how you want this layout. By default, it's on media. But maybe you want text and media. Maybe you want to give instructions on what you want students to do with this picture or video that might be posted here. And then uh, finally, you want to go in over here and, and save and close the menu. So that's a uh, good setup, real quick setup. And then notice down at the bottom there's a variety of ways for you to save. You can email. If you use Twitter and Facebook, you can do that. But a lot of times you just simply want to create it and then present it to your students. So you can click that Present button. It gets rid of all that other clutter. And then you can click on the tabs to show the various information that you just put in your live binder. So that's a brief introduction to live binders. I hope you enjoyed it and find it useful.